tunnel visioning on this here let's go for it I thought it was going to take it's just going too far pressing pressing too much because he wants to open up this rook here so I don't know why I'm doing that Ooh, tasty, tasty. Okay, let's go here. Okay, let's reserve that attack on the bishop. Give it a try. Push rather than take. I'm not too sure. Let's go. Come on, let's try it. Anything behind it? Uh, queen maybe protecting. Knight needs to take. Queen. It's almost there, but it's got this bishop. Maybe get this pawn pushed up, but he's going to block it down. Mmm. push onto the bishop it's nothing clear here so I don't know why I'm getting excited what oh why didn't I see that oh man oh I'm gutted oh I am so gutted Oh. oh, that spoiled that. All that build up and everything. That was fantastic build up. Man. Oh. Maybe my knight can beat his uh, rook. What do you reckon? I'm a nightmare. Yeah, maybe we can. Let's see what you've got, Mr. Rook. He's wanting to put checks on my king. Mm, no point going back there. Attack here. Checks on my king. Yeah, let's do this. Um, stay on this side, blocking the pawn. Just coming down for this pawn here. Yeah, that was always happening. And let's uh, go here. Goes here to come here. Doesn't. Interesting times. Ooh, this could be interesting. Maybe. Dun, 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 dun. Or not. It's just going to drop there, isn't it? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Drops, I have to move. Doesn't drop. Drops, I have to move. Mm. 
he's king for pawns, he's taking pawns. No checks on his king, is there? Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. What about? What about? something couldn't I? Come on, come on, forget yourself. Oh heavens above I cannot believe what I've just seen. <laughs> that is pretty oh steady. That is fantastic <laughs> Another swindle Damn Chest Jim the Swindler. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we shouldn't have won that, but like we did say, we are a night man. It's not just because they've got a rook doesn't mean they've actually won. And looking at the pieces that they had, um, if they had more pieces and they had a better position, I would have resigned because the rooks are stronger than the knights um, if they use them appropriately. So in this particular game here, um, I'm thankful that I have the experience of working with the Knights and looking for those magical positions and that was absolutely fantastic. You could tell the opponent knew in the initial stages about that position because they moved their king over here. But then as it was getting more frantic, they lost the original. I've done that before as well. You know, you know there's a dangerous square that you shouldn't go to, but you end up being there and you get forked or your piece gets captured. So that was a very interesting game and that's a very good game to finish the session on in terms of looking at improving my tunnel vision, trying to increase the tunnel vision to two, three, even pushing it to four options. And that goes again to how far we go with our calculations. So it's really about understanding when the pressure's on, maybe you can turn the tables or maybe you can try and improve the slightest of, slightest of positional play for yourself it might not be the best but if you tunnel vision so much on the fact that the opponent is going to take a pawn off or they're going to take a knight off but then if you have to look, look at the big picture maybe you can do something to them too 